Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Little Red's Homestead. I'm Little Red. <laughs> um, I am tired. It is Wednesday, which is like several days after I had planned to do this. Um, we had some crazy weather, some crazy weather. Um, and we've got a lot of water again. Um, so I'm not gonna really walk you around the whole yard. I'm gonna take you through the garden. We had an attack last night. <laughs> um, it was really bad, really gruesome. We lost one hen and a second is injured and I have an amazing neighbor who came to my rescue last night um, and she is she's she's giving um, her another chance she's giving her a chance um, because I don't have what it takes um, I'm actually reconsidering whether I have what it takes to even be a chicken mama. Oops. All right, so I am gonna flip you over and we're gonna get started. We're just doing the garden today, the vegetable garden. Um, first is this tomato plant. Um, lots and lots and lots of tomatoes on there. It's getting so big. I actually need to probably set it up um, I need to get something more support, I think. So the oregano, as always, doing amazing. Jalapeno pepper, look at that. That's exciting. I haven't actually been out here to check on a lot of this stuff. This is my black creme tomato. Ooh, look at that. got an eggplant. Oh, that's exciting. That's the kind of news I needed today, this morning. These here are some sunflowers. I probably need to top off the soil again here, but we have potatoes, more potatoes. More potatoes, the sweet potatoes, and we've even got more growth. These turnip greens. Um, and back here we have some sort of vine. That is the same kind of vine as this, I believe. And they're either the loofahs I think they're loofahs. That's my guess. Here we have another tomato plant. It says cherry tomatoes here. This right here is the devil's tongue beans. I would like them to grow up the pole, but they're not. This right here, can see is being eaten up by these little guys. What? Look at that. Um, there's tons of them. And I'm not too concerned about the mustard greens because it's not like I have been eating them. I mostly just want to know whether those are going to turn into, <laughs> whether those are, I, I don't know, good insects or bad insects. 
can see back here on the trellis is, um, uh, what are those? Lima beans. I don't see any beans yet, but I do see a spot where there could be, like, a little flower, which would be where a bean would go. Um, we've planted this, let's see, a shishito pepper here. There's no peppers yet, but it's a fairly new plant. Here is the um, the large gourd. Still no actual fruits, but we do have these buds all over it. I do really love that climbing over the trellis. Um, you got all these onions. These are. Um, oops. Oops, oops, look at that. Green beans. Provider green beans. That looks like an awfully small plant. I got a green bean. Um, back there are the snow peas. Kind of looking worse for wear. We have um, another one of these large gourds starting to trellis up here so that's nice those tomatoes are not looking very hot let's see that is why did i put all of these facing the wrong way a green bell pepper right there that's a new plant too so not surprised it's not gotten any anymore. Here are those tomatoes from the other side. Um, the lavender and more lavender over there. I don't know what this thing is. I think it's a weed. Um, okay. So there's that. Over here in the Hugel, you can see once again just puddles and upon puddles. We have um, the zucchini squash, some more tomato plants. Spaghetti squash, still not much. All of these are still kind of just on the small side. I don't know what that one is. Um, here, this one I just planted. Oh no, that's the poblano. I need to get some form of protection for the hugel from the chickens. Or I need to get the chickens to stop escaping. I did just plant that purple basil. I love a good purple basil. I love a good basil. Basil's always good. Um, this watermelon I just planted. Let's see. Now this, the cucumber has done really well. It is filled out nicely. Again, I don't know what that one is. There's the pond. Full up. You see the liatris in the back blooming. It's pretty cool. I'll take you over here. Oh, that lavender is looking better, I think the basil. Ooh. I came and clipped a lot of this the last time. Um, mint, cilantro, 
marjoram, oregano, thyme, rosemary, the chamomile, the uh, tarragon, and I planted this spearmint last week. That, that's all the new stuff, I think. Here's my girls. So, I said I lost... I lost one adult hen, and one is currently, you know, being cared for. And then I lost, um, I had my chicks and my ducks on the front porch in a small, in the small cage that I had them in inside because um, their coop had water in the, in the bottom. Again, we're moving this coop too as soon as as soon as it dries out enough because I can't deal with it constantly being underwater. <laughs> um, this is my red maple that I planted finally. I'm excited about. But here you go. There's, you can see it's full of water. So I'm moving it, but I had moved them out of here and over to the front porch. They were in this little cage. Um, and it was bad. They got three, three chicks through the holes. Well, actually they got one chick through the hole. They managed to just mutilate the other two. So, the ducks are okay, and I've still got three baby chicks, I think. Um, ooh, let's go look at the cactus, because it's been getting ready to bloom. I've been wanting to catch this for you guys. I do nothing special for these cactus, these cacti. Look, this is a bloom coming up, but this, and they just, they don't last long. Um, it is, like, not easy losing your, your chickens, even when you have started to practice disattachment, unattachment, when you haven't named them. Um, this was, it was awful. These chicks were on the front porch. And I was inside. We were having a discussion <laughs> about life and death, <laughs> no less. And, um, you know, I didn't hear it. And I. I walked outside to go lock them up. It was maybe a little late, but not really. Um, it's hard. I want to quit. I want to quit sometimes. I definitely want to quit sometimes. I really like my chickens. I like harvesting my eggs. I like that they keep pests out of the yard. You know, like snakes <laughs> and spiders and, you know, they eat all the good stuff. Well, the bad stuff. Well, the, they eat a lot of bugs. I don't know. I really enjoy my chickens, um, but... 
I'm having to definitely take a step back and <laughs> find out if uh, I have what it takes. I don't know that I do. I don't know that I have what it takes to nurse a injured chicken back to health. I don't know that I have what it takes to put an injured chicken out of its misery. And I think that those are probably two, you have to pick one. Look at all those mushrooms. Got the little cottage garden over here, strawberries. <sighs> The uh, milkweed, some sage down there that hasn't done much, but I came and I watered it with fish water yesterday or the day before. Maybe it'll grow bigger. There's the lavender there. Um. not as much growing over here this is like the side doesn't get sun so <laughs> nothing does well there okay that's it thank you so much guys for tuning in when you have time I appreciate it um, thank you so much for watching me grow